everybody, it's Lisa and welcome to Make It Monday. Today's project is a 3D project and it's this really cute Victorian pin. And I'm going to show you how I made it using Stampin' Up! products. The first thing you need is one of our jumbo sticky rounds and these are currently in the holiday catalog. What you're going to do is you are going to peel off the red square that surrounds the circle. I don't know if you can see it or not on the camera, but there's a circle left that's very sticky. I have cut 17 2 inch pieces of the tool. Now the tool comes in several cover colors. This is the crumb cake. And all I'm going to do is pinch this in the center and kind of twist it like this. And I'm going to start at the outside of this pin by tacking it down. And because this is so sticky, you're not going to have any trouble with it adhering. So I went around and around. It's a very simple pot project. It takes just a few minutes to make one of these. Okay, so I've done the outside perimeter and now I'm going to go to the inside. You don't have to fill it completely because we're going to add the um, antique brad. Okay, so now I have filled it all the way around. The next thing you're going to need is a piece of felt, and I just bought this at a craft store, and I use the circles die to cut these out. And it's going to fit perfectly on the back of the, uh, the jumbo rounds. With your paper piercing mat and your piercing tool, you're piercing a hole in the center through the paper, and we're going to insert our brad, and then we're going to open it up to the back. Now, you're going to peel off the paper, and I know it's going to get stuck around the brad, but that's okay, because once I've got these kind of prongs in place, I can just slide this off. I do recommend opening the prongs before you do this, though. And then, the coordinating size of your felt, you can see how sticky this is, is going to fit perfectly right on top of here. Now, before you do that, very important, fold the felt in half. I want you to make two slits. This is so the pin back will fit. And what we're going to do with the pin back is we're going to bring it through like this, and I'm going to lock it so it'll stay in place. And now we're going to attach it to the sticky round. Okay, and I'm just going to push. Okay, so we've got our, our little pin. Now, if there's an area that's bugging you because it sticks out, just take your scissors to it. It's, it's not going to be a big deal. It's going to be really forgiving. You're going to see how no two are exactly the same. This one has a little bit less tool than this one does. The only difference between these tool is the shimmer paint that I added. And let me show you how I did that. I used one of the Stampin' Up! spritzer bottles, and it was empty. And I bought the champagne shimmer paint. And I put just enough shimmer paint in this bottle to just fill the bottom. And then the rest, I use regular household all-purpose rubbing alcohol for the rest up to here. And then you're going to have to shake it so that it mixes and it dilutes. Now, I'm going to attempt to do this for you on camera. I'm praying it's not going to make a huge mess. I usually do this inside an empty box because it keeps it contained. There is a very small hole here, like a perfume bottle. So you're going to want to make sure that that's pointing in the right direction. Otherwise, you're going to have this everywhere. Okay? And I just spritzed. Okay? Uh, I'm a firm believer less is more. And then you're going to give it a few minutes to dry because it's slightly damp because the alcohol. The great thing about the rubbing alcohol is it's going to evaporate right away so it'll dry very, very quickly. So there we go. We have... Uh, your vintage pin. I hope to see you next week for Make It Monday.